In this video, we're going to talk about image buttons in Adobe Captivate. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, you know, Adobe Captivate 9 just came out, and you've got multi-state objects. Almost everything can have a rollover effect or a multi-state uh, effect. Why would you need to do image buttons in 2015? Well, I had an occasion the other day to do an image button, so and it just reminded me that this is actually a very creative way to create your buttons, and they're very effective, and they work. And if you're using uh, an older version of Captivate, it's a great way to create buttons because, of course, uh, on some of those earlier versions, really, it was the only way to create any kind of uh, rollover effect at all. So. Let's do that. Now, I'm going to start off, even though I'm using Captivate 9 here, uh, this is going to be applicable for almost anything, um, Captivate 7, Captivate 6, whatever. I'm going to start off in Photoshop, actually. And again, you don't have to have the latest version of Photoshop. I'm running, what version am I running here? Uh, da, 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 about Photoshop. I'm running version 12.1. I don't know what that relates to in CS numbers. I mean, it's got CS5 here, but I think it's 5.1. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to start off and create a button. And you can use the layer feature within uh, Photoshop. If you're a Photoshop expert, you're probably thinking, this guy doesn't even know what he's talking about. I, you know what, there's seven things I know how to do in Photoshop. And this is one of them. So I'm going to do a background color. Let's say uh, my my background color for this button is going to be this this color here. So I'm just going to paint the whole. I'm going to use a box actually, and just draw a box with that color. There's my background color. Now the next thing I need is I need to do uh, some text, right? So let's do some text on this uh, button here, and uh, we'll just say. Um, so, next, that's really tiny, and I want it centered on the button, and let's just bump up that font size so that it's a little more significant. That's lovely. Let's click the checkbox there. <laughs> and so now I'm going to create the rollover effect. So the rollover effect, let's, uh, let's start off with the purple, but let's do a new layer here. And what we'll do is we'll do a lighter version of this purple, like something like that. And we'll just draw, again, that box right over top. So this is going to be the rollover effect that's going to get really light. And I'm just going to duplicate the next text, the next text. So we'll duplicate that layer and drag that up to the top there. So I have two versions of the next button and what I'm going to do is because this is lighter I'm going to change that font color so the rollover effect will have um, black text so it really stands out so all I need to do now is I need to save this in two or possibly three different ways so I'll just cover uh, you can get away with just the um, the, the, the normal version and the rollover effect, that's usually enough. But if you want a downstate as well, you can do that as well. The downstate, I'll just make it the same as the, as the rollover effect. But you can make a third state. I've got two states here, you could make a third state if you wanted to. So I'm just going to commit that last edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to save this save for web and devices and I'm just going to save this to my desktop PNG file is a, is a great choice for anything with graphics or texts uh, on it as well and we're just going to go to the desktop here and we're going to call this next uh, so I'm just going to call this next underscore um, over Right, and that's a key thing. You got to call whatever you call your button. Uh, the rollover effect needs to be underscore over. So we're just going to hit save. Now I'm going to make the rollover stuff invisible. Just uncheck it from your layers here, and we'll do a save for web and devices. 
So now we have the slightly darker version, and this will be the normal state, or as they call it in image rollover buttons, the up state. So I'm just going to select the original name of the over, and I'm going to call this up. And let's turn this uh, rollover effect back on, and we'll call this um, the down state as well. And I think that's what you call it. Down. <clears throat> so now we have three different versions of this file on my desktop. So let's bring up Adobe Captivate and we're going to create a new responsive project. Uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to insert a blank slide because I don't need anything on it. Yeah, but we're going to put on that button, and you can um, you can do this through the interactions drop down icon, and we're just going to select button, and this will create a standard text button. But we're going to change that. We're going to change that from the properties panel under style name. You've got text button here. We're going to change that to image button. Now there's a whole bunch that are built into Adobe Captivate, so if you don't want to go through the trouble of messing around with Photoshop like I just did, you can just choose something that's built into, you know, there's tons here. There's play, next, back, retake, quiz, all this stuff, all kinds of crazy buttons for you to choose from. But if you like to make your own stuff like I do, uh, you just need to click on the change icon, which is a little folder here, and we're going to navigate to my desktop and all you need to do and here's the thing you don't even need to uh, specify which state you're selecting select any one of these buttons I'll choose the over state that's funny over state and I'll load that in and now this becomes my next button here so let's just preview this and see how that works and let's just put this after that so we can got a, a place to go to. And obviously we should have an action. Go to next slide. Okay, that's great. I'm going to make sure that this is in the exact center of my course, my project. All right, so we're all set to go. Let's do a preview of this project right here. And you'll see, you know, again, like I said, if you're using an older version of Adobe Captivate where you don't have multi-state objects, this is a great alternative. If you're uh, creative enough and you want to be able to create your own buttons, look at that. That's a neat rollover effect right there. And then, of course, I can click Next to continue. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was interesting, funny, hilarious, informative, educational, etc., uh, etc., et go ahead and give me a thumbs up.